So in the previous two videos you learned about arithmetic and geometric sequences and we came up with explicit formulas and explicit formulas were very powerful because once you have that formula if you want to know what the hundredth term is you can just plug in a hundred. Turns out that's not the only type of formula we can come up with. Um, there is another type called a recursive formula and so in this video we're going to look at recursive formulas for arithmetic and geometric sequences. Um, now the the fundamental idea behind a recursive formula is that each term is defined in terms of previous terms previous terms okay so what this basically means is that with a recursive formula if I want to know the ninth term I first have to know the eighth term which means I and to know the eighth term I need to know the seventh term and to know the seventh I need to know the sixth etc all the way back to the first term so in some sense a recursive formula is weaker than an explicit formula um, but the truth is that there are some formulas that we actually just have you know mathematicians and people in in, in computer science have not found explicit formulas for but that's actually okay because I mean if you're programming a computer so it might be even better to just use what's called a recursive formula and in fact recursion is very very prominent in in computer science so um, this is this is why we use these um, these type of formulas so we're gonna look at an example we've already we've already done this is our arithmetic sequence here and I'm gonna do the same thing okay that's you know that again is my first term that's my second term I wanna do the same thing that I did in the last two videos but I wanna say okay my first term here we know is a one my second term it's five which I can view as one plus four my third term is a nine but I can also view that as just five plus four my fourth term is a thirteen but I could also view that as nine plus four and so if we stop here just to, to note I'm emphasizing something different than I was in the previous videos. What I'm emphasizing here is that every term is the one before it. So this one here, right, that, that's my first term. So another way of writing this is it's my first term plus four. So my second term is one plus four, or in other words, my first term plus four. My third term is five which is my second term plus four my fourth term is nine plus four but nine is my third term and so what you see is that every term is defined in terms of the one before it my second term is defined in terms of my first my third is defined in terms of my second my fourth in terms of my third etc all right, and so in general, in general, the nth term is the one before it. So notice that the the subscripts are just telling me how the terms relate, right? My fourth term is equal to the third, right? Four minus one plus four. So my nth term is just the n minus one one term plus four and that is in recur that is the way a recursive formula works okay um, in general a recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence has this structure 
any term is the one before it plus whatever that common difference is. So again, d is the common difference. Okay, now one key thing to note is that your first term also has to be given. Okay, so in order to generate this pattern, your first term has to be given. It would be like, I mean, if I walked up to you on the street and said, I'm thinking of a pattern, you just take a number and add four to it to get to the next number. What what are the numbers in my in my pattern? You'd have no idea what I'm talking about. Unless I told you, okay, my first number is a one, or my first number is a four, or my first number is a ten, whatever. Once I tell you the first number, then you get you know all the other numbers just by applying the pattern. So we'll do quickly do a um recursive formula for a geometric next. So again, a recursive formula for a geometric is gonna look uh, a little different than the one for a geometric, I mean for an arithmetic, but the basic idea is the same. So my first term here is a 3. My second term is a 6, but I could also view that as my 3 times 2. My third term, I can view that as a 12, but I could also view that as just taking my 6 and multiplying it by 2. My fourth term is a 24, but I could also view that as taking my 12 and multiplying it by 2. And so once again we see that the second term is 3 times 2, but that 3 is really my first term, right, times 2. My third term I can write as 6 times 2, but my 6 is really my second term times 2. My fourth term is my 12 times 2, but that's really just my third term times 2. Right, so if, just to make it more clear, that's my first term, that's my second term, third term. Every term is defined in terms of the one before it. Every term is defined in the terms of the one before it. So in general, the nth term is, well, it's the one before it times 2. And that is what a geometric sequence, uh, the recursive formula for a geometric sequence looks like. So in general, The recursive form for a geometric sequence has this structure. Any term is the one before it times r, where r is your common ratio. And once again, in order to make this whole thing work, in order to get this whole ball rolling, we need our first term to be given. All right. So, again, th this is a recursive formulas are weaker in some sense than explicit formulas because if I want to know the tenth term, according to an explicit formula, if I want to know the tenth term, I have to know the ninth. So then I go get the ninth. Well, to know the ninth, I'd have to know the eighth, and then to know the eighth, I'd have to know the seventh, etc. So it's a little weaker for when you want to find a term. But if you have like a you know strong computer power behind you, sometimes it makes more sense to actually program the computer using a recursive formula since it can you know since it can do it so quickly um, sometimes it makes more sense to do that than to use an explicit formula so a uh, computer program is one of the uh, one common application of recursive formulas um, in case you're leaving this video thinking that this is just a complete waste of time it's not I promise um, so that is that's all for geometric and arithmetic sequences um, explicit and recursive formulas